everyone so I know I'm in a different place in my craft room I'm actually sitting in the chair in our craft room that I share with my mom and my sister and that's because I actually hurt my foot so I'm not able to sit on the floor so hence why I am in a chair so that's a little bit why I'm kind of in a different area in my craft room and everything I'm not in front of the wall of yarn is I kind of need to sit in my chair and it's a little bit more comfortable than the floor I'm not gonna lie so that's kind of why I'm here but anyway today I'm going to be sharing with you a crochet pattern and it's free on my blog and I have to say I have mentioned in a lot of my videos I don't like to make blankets and every time I say that I end up making a blanket and that is how it worked out in this situation too I saw some yarn at Michael's. I actually did a review on it. It was the last video I did, which is the Kiron Anniversary Cake, and it's a giant cake, and I saw it at Michael's. I fell in love with it, and I knew I wanted to make a blanket out of it. So that's what I did. And I wanted to make a blanket that was very, very easy, very simple, that a beginner could make it. And I wanted to use a very simple stitch so then the colors could really shine through. So all you need to know is how to double crochet and single crochet in the front loop. That's it. That's all you need to know. And you'd be able to make this very pretty blanket. So this is just a lap size blanket. I use two cakes. I didn't use that much of the second cake. I only used the full first cake and then a couple colors of the second one so I could add tassels and a border on it. I did add a size on my blog of it's a smaller size and you'd only need to use one cake to be able to make that and it would just be a little bit shorter. It would still be the same width just a tiny bit shorter but I don't think it would be a bad length either. It just would be a lap blanket kind of like mine is. Mine is a lap blanket. But anywho, here it is. I won't be able to show the whole thing in the um, frame, but you'll be able to kind of get a idea of what it looks like. So this is what, and I'm calling this the happiness blanket because it just makes me really, really happy. So that's why I'm kind of calling it the happiness blanket. But I just think it looks so pretty, and normally I don't like these colors. But I just love these colors together for some reason and it is a size 6 weight yarn like I mentioned in my review video and so it is a little bit of a thicker blanket and then I just added little tassels on the corners just to add a little bit of a different look I've never done tassels on a blanket before so I thought it'd be kind of fun just to add a little bit of something to it and I do like how they turned out they're a little bit chunkier and so I just think they're really fun and cute so I used a size L crochet hook and I actually ended up using a boy crochet hook because I don't have a size L in my clover hooks. So it was kind of cool to use a metal hook though again it kind of was a little bit of a throwback. But I do like that hook. It worked out really great and I would always recommend the boy crochet hooks. They're awesome. But I really do like how I tur this turned out. I wanted to do something kind of in the front loop just to add a little bit of a... I wouldn't say kind of adds a little bit of lines just to kind of add a little bit of texture without taking away from the colors just to add a little bit of a look besides just doing a basic crochet um a basic crochet stitch I thought the front loop kind of added just a little bit of something and I just think the lines look really pretty on it and I just wanted to also do double crochet because I love double crochet I think double crochet kind of looks fun especially when it's paired with another stitch and I did but I did not want to do the entire thing in double crochet so I think the double crochet and then the single crochet in the front loop was kind of the perfect combination. And then I also did just a very simple single crochet border all the way around. I just did two rows and I just thought it'd be nice to kind of even up the edges a little bit and just kind of add a little bit of a completed look to the blanket. But like I said, this is a really, really easy crochet pattern. A beginner could totally do this. And the nice thing about it is it's not going to take you super long because it does use chunky yarn, a larger crochet hook, and I believe the larger size is 80 rows. I believe that's what it came out to be, and I think the smaller size was 72. So not a ton of rows compared to most other blankets. Most blankets range between about 100 to 200 rows, so it's less than kind of the average blanket since it is such just a lap blanket. But I really do like how it turned out. 
I think it's super cute. It's super warm. And so I'm hoping that you guys are going to like it too. Like I said, I'm calling it the happiness blanket because it just makes me really happy. I'm really happy that I finished it. And um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my tassels because I learned a couple years ago how to make tassels. I just want to say a little disclaimer of everybody makes tassels pom-poms differently so my way might not be maybe the way you know how to make tassels I just learned this way I like how it turned out with this type of tassel if I was making a smaller tassel I probably would not do this way but since it was kind of a chunkier tassel I liked how it turned out so I'll be showing you guys how I make my tassels um, like I said there's so many different ways to make tassels this is not just like the way to do it there's so many different ways find the way that works out best for you and that is the easiest for you because especially if you have to make a lot of tassels i only had to make four but if you have to make a lot of tassels you want to make sure that's a way that's easy and simple for you and not a way that's going to frustrate you so definitely find a way that works out best for you but yeah so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to make in this video i hope you guys enjoy it but let's get into the demonstration Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a tassel. So I'm just making some really big chunky tassels for my blanket. To make a chunkier tassel, I use a DVD to wrap my yarn around and this is just one I have in my DVD collection. And then the yarn that I want to use. So this is just the yarn I used for the blanket. So to make this chunky of a tassel, I don't need to wrap it around as many times as I would with different with thinner yarn. This is a pretty thick yarn, but I still want to make it look pretty chunky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around 25 times. So one, two, three. So next I'm going to cut off the yarn right here. So we have the start of our tassel. So I'm going to go back to my skein of yarn and I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to say it's about 8 inches long. I like to have a little bit of longer, have too much than not enough. So I always kind of cut my things a little bit more than I probably really need to. So I'm going to thread this through the top of the DVD. So I'm just going to thread it like this and then I'm going to just keep it right there and then I'm going to pull this off while holding these two. So I'm just going to slide off the tassel off the DVD. Okay, so now I have my two strands and then I have my tassel in the making. So I'm going to tie the top of it to kind of gather it and then I'm going to tie it again to secure it into a knot. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Next I'm going to make the little head portion. I have a different color of yarn because I want to make it look a little bit, have a little bit of variety because I don't really want them all to be pure green. So I'm going to hold this and I'm just going to tie it and then I can adjust it if I need to fix any of the strands make it maybe not as big Ooh, there's a hair and then whenever I get it to how I want it so that looks pretty good I'm going to turn it around and knot it on the other side. Next, you're going to cut the loop, the bigger loop. This will create the fringe for the tassel. So we're just going to cut that. Cut all the loops. And then you'll just trim these little pieces right here for the knot so then it's not as noticeable. And then you have your little tassel. You can even it out, which I'm going to do. And then you can just tie it onto your blanket. I saw a video where they actually kept this where it was more of looped. Um, it was connected and you would just knot it under and then slide it and have the knot underneath hidden. But I find that I like it where I can tie it onto things. I just find it's a little bit more secure. But yeah, that's how I make my tassels. 
Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope you guys check it out. Like I said, I will have the pattern link down below on my blog and you guys can always see if it's something you like or if you guys would like to make. And if you guys do decide to make it, please tag me. I would love to see pictures and let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this yarn and what you've made out of it, if you've made anything out of it. I just really love the colors of this. I believe it's the shade Tropical Butterfly, which is kind of a weird name, but okay. Um, I would never guess it'd be named Tropical. I can see the Tropical, I don't really see the Butterfly, but that's okay. But yes, anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!